hi guys welcome back again to my channel it's timmy here today in this video i'm going to be talking about Gimme part 2 episode 2 if you haven't seen my episode 1 review please click on the link above here and go watch it i've done a lot i think that is very extensive and kind of covers a lot of things today i'm just going to be sharing my final thoughts on Gimme part 2 and what i loved in general about the movie <music> Okay, before I get into the video, please like this video, um, subscribe as well to this channel and share with your friends and family. Gwemi episode 2, we see that Gwemi actually loses her baby. And I, I thought that scene where she went into the toilet and realized that she had lost the baby was intense. Because both of them are outside the door and crying and just trying to hold on and have faith. I thought that woman was really intense and it happens um miscarriages i've written a so one of my friends has a blog post where she talks about women's health and miscarriages happen like one in four women and that's very common but it's hardly ever talked about and it is it is a, sometimes a make or break for families because it's a lot to deal with it is the grief of it the grief on both sides both of them as mother and father prepping for that child the grief on their individual part as mother and father and as a couple so it's really intense and i like that i kind of just touched on it um and a lot of times women struggle with guilt i think i'm digressing at this point <laughs> but a lot of times women struggle with guilt and it's not their fault so i think that if couples access counseling in that moment and know that um god can come through for them it's important that they know that this can happen and they should still have faith you know this is grief this is expectation crushed this is i've announced to the world and something is wrong do you understand and then when the mom even came it's like yeah i'm praying for you me watch i lost the baby it's a lot to deal with and i think we need to be a lot more sensitive to people we need to be a lot more when people are bloated we need to know the things that we're saying to them not like you know jump into conclusion i guess if you want to ask and you're close to them depending on their relationship maybe but like we need to just be more aware that you know people could be going through things and we should be careful about the kind of things that we're saying in those moments to these people because they're dealing with grief they're dealing with that lost expectation there's a whole lot of things that they're dealing with in in that period so i like that it kind of touched on that as well I also love the person that played Maggie, like Boyega's concubine or mistress or whatever. I don't know who else could have. Okay, actually, no. I think Okoyemi Akintinde could have also played that role, but she was perfect. Like the, the um the person who played Maggie was perfect for it. Her charisma, oh like her facial expressions, oh, her tone—they were really, really home. perfect for for the role and I, I enjoyed that. I also like the conversation that that little girl had, my mother had with her and the letter that she wrote when she returned her back home was such a restoration letter. Like it was it was really nice. But before I jump too far, let's talk about the set of guys. Oh my god. Where <laughs> they brought the cameras out. I was like, whoa, they finally got her. I think that yo man i really felt for them i really 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 felt for them like, because she had been trying to avoid it and then her husband you know she just was in such a fix and yeah and then she, when she was trying to kill herself i thought that that scene was actually over dragged but i mean the dialogue was good but i just thought they could have maybe summarized it a bit i thought there was too much <laughs> drama in there but which i didn't think it was that realistic but um again things like that can happen especially if you didn't plant it on your husband and that happens and you're like oh my god my world is crashing because it was a full-blown scandal oh my god i felt for her and um when we actually come in there also she's in the middle of our problem are we willing to help people um because the times that you're going through stuff yourself and you're just like shutting out everybody but are we able to sort of almost look past ourselves to be able to still help people even when we're going through our own pain that's something that i saw that Gwemi did for her to actually 
come to the house and say oh my god oh my god i think something's going wrong and to help i think that was really a great thing to do and a a good example really that's that's something that we can do even when we're going through our own stuff if there's some way that we can reach out to other people let's do it um so yeah that is that about that let me see from my notes what else i have here sister bookie sister bookie sister bookie finally showed her true color and when she lost the office there i said hey hey she locked the door and she put the, the key inside the other thing i said the day one will come out ah i was just like bro john what is bro john going to he never pick his call i was like hey what is he going to do <laughs> i really wasn't sure what he was going to do i was like i don't know how he's going to react and ig live idea i was like that is really innovative i really like that he incorporated that i was like okay i never thought about ig live but okay that that is a good good one for sure so i like that piece of it and i was so glad that you know nothing happened um and he was able to ex escape escape the green snake like he called it like the green snake finally showed a trickle i was just laughing <laughs> but yeah so that's that's that about that one um and even bemi and how she stood her ground like when her family came i was like hey like you know we have this to recommend to you and she's like you know what? i'm just going to trust in god and i know that family parents friends always you know have your best interest had most of the time and they want to like hey how can i help and something but i think if you're a christian the best thing that you can do is really to point them back to christ and um that's got to even teach you what to say because sometimes you don't need to suggest anything you just need to be present with them and not like try to fix the problem so yeah that's another one um and then finally 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 i love how she told him that she was pregnant i really liked it because it was kind of the same way where she told him she'll get married to him or she was saying yes and i like that that's really cute i didn't even think that was how that was going to happen and in his sermon towards the end he was like yeah i, I was also one of those anxious down, people and i, I like that too because sometimes when we're going through <laughs> things yeah. by ourselves there's a scripture that says that the things that you've gone through that you can use to encourage others because you've gone through them and i think that that's kind of like what where that the face he was in where he was able to be like i've gone through this and now i can encourage you through it so it was nice to see that and again scripture reminds us to be anxious for nothing because scripture knows that we'll be anxious but you always have to keep coming back to that scripture in philippians 4 that says be anxious for nothing but in everything with prayer and supplication and thanksgiving let your request be made known unto god and that's where you're pouring out your heart to god again and saying i thank you because you're a good father i thank you because you have good plans for me i thank you because you know the best pathway for my life and i thank you because all good can all good things come from you you would not withhold anything good from for me and just building your faith again in the lord building your faith in the lord i think i might do a video where i would share like scriptures on waiting and things like that i think so so yeah i really enjoyed bimi oh yeah one other thing that i did not really like was the editing i thought there was a lot of vignette edits and i was just like like vignette filter and it was i feel like it was affecting the mood of the film and i was just like i don't really like that vignette that was my that was my observation but generally i thought it was a well done movie well thought out story and pretty amazing but just for this cast <laughs> and pretty amazing movie so yeah those are my thoughts about Gwemi part two episode two and just Gwemi in general what did you guys like about the movie if you watched episode one and two and did it meet your expectations what did you learn please share with me in the comments i will be happy to read from you till i come your way next time do not forget to like share and to subscribe i will see you in my next video bye what kind of girl like you? The Jesus kind of girl. Turned her to you so you can go back and fix what is broken in your home. Take care of her and let her know that Auntie Maggie loves her too.